Hey guys, uh, Luther here from Luther's Woodworking. We are in the shop today and we're going to be doing a, another project here today. Um, this is my own design. It's a little pickup truck. Let me just move my camera here and show you what we got going on. Um, it's going to be this little truck right here. I've made hundreds of these little trucks. Um, this one's painted. Here's one that's uh, not painted. But they actually are really, really good sellers at craft shows and stuff in there really super easy to make um, and all you need is a is a piece of pine right here for the base this this base right here is just, I just use a, a piece of pine for that and then for the uh, the cab part right here I'm just gonna cut that out of a old piece of 2 by 6 I got right here um, really easy to do um, this um, Cab right here. I got a, I got a little design here that I use to get my uh, shape for that cab. I made a template. Now, if you watch a lot of my uh, YouTube videos or follow me on Facebook, you'll see that I make a lot of templates, so I don't have to try to think of what measurements it was or write things down. Say like this right here is for the base. I already got my holes drilled in here for the wheels. I got written down on here a 1964 hole for the wheels. I got the thickness, width, and length of this base written written right on here. Um, when I want to make a bunch of these trucks, all I got to do is just grab this base. When I go to drill the holes in the in the base, I just got to set this up on my drill press, and I can drill all the holes. Just line it up. As far as the um, cab part goes, I cut these out of like I said. Uh, old pieces of uh, two by sixes here. Um, when I go to make them, I made a I made a template. This is the shape of the cap. All I gotta do is lay it on there and, and just draw the shape out like that. And then you gotta just cut that with the band saw or the scroll saw. So it's really easy if you make a little, some templates to help you make a lot of these trucks. Um, as far as the, the box part back here, um, now there was, the, the way I used to do it was I cut a bunch of these uh, quarter inch strips, these strips of wood with my thin um, strip cutter on my table saw, and then I would just uh, glue all these pieces together to create a, create a box like this here, and then I would um, just glue that on the back of the I would just glue that box on the back of the, the truck like this here. Um, I come up with a little better way of doing that. Instead of cutting all these strips, and then you got to sit and uh, glue these together like this here, and then sand it some more. Um, I come up with a little better way of doing that for the box. What I did was I made a pattern here, and this has got all the, all the cab, the actual box part on it. You'd cut the inside part out and cut the outside, and then you'd have your uh, box for the back of the truck. And then all you got to do is glue that on the on the base. So we're going to try that next time uh, when we do this video here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just grab some pine um, and cut this base part right here. And like I said, my templates got all the measurements right on them. Three quarter by inch and a half wide by four and five sixteenths long. Well, four and a quarter, somewhere around that length um, long. So go ahead over to the table saw and uh, cut that. We'll cut this board to that width. And then also we'll cut a chunk of this uh, two by six off so we can get a, a square part for the cab. So. We'll head over to the table saw and get that done. All right, so the first thing we're going to make is this base, the wheelbase for this truck. Uh, like I said, just going to need a piece of scrap pine here. We're going to cut it inch and a half wide. Um, just make sure your, your fence is set up for about an inch and a half here. We're just going to run this through. And cut that now. I'm, we're only making one on this video, but if you're making more, you can just keep on cutting all you need. All right, 
so we have this set up for the width of that base. Um, another thing we're going to cut, we're going to cut the um, part for the cab. And here I got a piece of uh, old 2x6. We're just going to run that through and cut a chunk of that. So we got that. What we'll do is just cut a cut a piece of this off here for that cab. So let's head back over to the chop saw and cut our two pieces. All right, here we are at the chop saw. Like I said, I highly recommend you making a template block like this here. It makes things a lot easier. You don't have to do a lot of measuring. We're just going to lay that block on here. And then you just have to draw a line across here. And you'll have your wheelbase cut with that there. You can do the same thing with your um, cab piece. Make a template. You can lay it on there. Draw the line across. And then you got your template, your piece for your cab. A lot easier with these template pieces. There's no measuring or thinking involved there. So let's uh, cut this piece. There's one wheel block right there. And then we'll go and cut. One cab section right there. So you got your two pieces for your cab. And then you wheel block right here. If I was making more of these, I would set up my uh, stop and because a lot of times I make um, probably 20, 30, 40 of these at once. I'll just set up my stop and just keep on cutting chunks off and make a whole bunch of them at once. So let's head back over to the workbench and we'll uh, move on to the next step. All right, with your um, Two pieces cut right here. The next thing you're going to want to do is mark out uh, where you want to lay out the holes for the wheels. Uh, these are inch and a quarter wheels, just so you uh, know. And where I buy my wheels, I don't make them, I buy them, is craftparts.com. I'll put a link below in the description where I get all my wheels, my axle pegs, and these headlight deals. You can get all them parts on that website. Um... And another thing I want to notice, you'll notice that my template blocks were all painted blue. Um, all here, they're all painted blue. And the reason why I do that is if I'm out in my shop and I got 50 of these parts cut and my shop's got all kinds of sawdust on the floor, if I happen to drop any of these parts on the floor, I know not to throw out any of these parts because they go to a pattern somewhere. They're not like if I drop this on the floor, I might just throw it out as scrap. So I paint all my uh, templates a color. It doesn't have to be blue. It can be red, green, whatever color. And then also, when I make these toys, I keep all, I'll have a bag here and says small pickup truck. I'll have all my templates in here, all my patterns, my measurements, all that stuff. So the next time I want to make this truck, I just grab this bag, um, pull out my templates, and I can go to town. Um, so... The next thing you're going to want to do is set up for your wheels, and here's a reason why it's good to have a template. I got my wheel holes already drilled in here. So all I got to do is line this up like this and mark out where my wheels go. There's no measuring. Then I can just take a square, draw the line across, and you got where your wheels go. And you can do the same same thing on the other side. Just mark out just mark out where the wheels go and just draw your lines across. Nothing really too scientific about it. 
Now we got marked with the wheels and drills. This is three quarter inch base, so half of that's three eighths. Basically, you want to drill that hole right in, the, right in the middle of this block, three eighths in. And that's another good reason to have this setup block because we're going to head over to the drill press and drill these. I can just set this in the drill press, run my drill bit down into this hole. I know I got it automatically centered in this block. So now I can just take these and just um, keep on drilling as many as I want. Um, so that will help that. And then also here's the block for the cab. We got that cut. Make yourself a template. I got a hole right here for the um, marked out for the hole in the truck. You can put that hole right in your template. This is just eighth inch um, piece of plywood. You can just lay that right on there like this. And you can draw your line and mark your hole. And I have written right on this template, this is a 5 eighths hole that gets drilled here. So everything's pretty uh, pretty straightforward in making these uh, little toy trucks. There's really not too much involved in making them. Um, so we're going to head over to drill press and drill these holes. And then after we drill these holes, we're going to head over to the bandsaw and cut these out right here. And we're going to drill this hole for the... Um, window. All right, here at the drill press here. Now, like I said, because I have my template made here and I got the measurements uh, written right on here, 1964s holes, and I use 1964s because we're using quarter inch dowels for the axles. And with that size of hole, that quarter inch dowel will turn really nice in a 1964's hole. It's not going to be too sloppy. So that I use that for that size for all quarter inch dowels if I am using a quarter inch dowel for the axle. So with that set up, with your template, all you got to do is set it up so them holes line up like this and you're all set. There's no measurement. So we're just going to drill these holes. base for that truck. Um, now we're going to change over the bit to um, 5 8 bit to cut that uh, window hole in this cab. So we'll just quick change that bit. And I'm using a Forstner, a Forstner uh, drill bit. They cut really nice sharp edges, really perfectly round holes, so they're really nice. And they got that little little uh, point on the bottom, if you can see that. And I'll tell you why that little point on the bottom comes in handy. So I'm going to have to move this fence a little bit and this table we'll just slide this table back a little bit here we're going to cut that hole now like I said that bit's got that little point on the bottom there I'm going to run my bit all the way down that point goes in my table base there just a little bit just so it touches. And I'm going to lock it in. So now my drill bit's only going to come down that far. Because the reason being, when I drill through this, when it drills all the way through to the other side, it'll leave a little hole where the mark is on the other side. Then I'll be able to just flip it over and finish out the hole. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> See 
that? I drilled through. Hopefully you can see that. I drilled through, and there's a little hole on the other side of this block. So now that tells me where I can start drilling from this side to get a nice clean edge around that hole. See that? I drilled from that side. Now I got a nice clean crisp edge on both sides. You drill one from one side, then you come back on the other side and drill it that way. Um, so we're done with drilling the holes. We're going to head over to the bandsaw because I cut this little cab part out on the bandsaw. You could cut this on a scroll saw if you have one. Um, bandsaw works really nice with a quarter inch blade in it. So we head over to bandsaw, quick cut that out, and then we should be uh, done making these parts. All right, here at the bandsaw. Um, like I said, it's a little easier on the bandsaw to do this cutting. On this here, you could do it on the scroll saw. We're just going to cut down this down this one here and then come up and cut and meet right there and this piece will fall away. see it but it's a little bit of a round rounded edge to it kind of makes it look like a cab so this piece is all done um, one thing we didn't do and we'll do that later we got to drill some little holes in the front of this for the headlight so the pegs can sit in there for the headlight so let's head back over to the bench and uh, continue on with this project all right we're back at the drill press here because what I want to do is drill these holes in for the headlights. Now, what I use for the headlights are these axle pegs. Now, you can get these axle pegs um, from that craftparts.com, which I'm going to have the link below. Um, these particular ones are, they got, uh, I use this drill bit gauge quite a bit for checking stuff, but these got the 730 seconds tenon on them. That's how big they are. Um, but you don't want to drill your hole. 730 seconds because you want to leave a little room for glue so I go up to the next size bigger which is 15 60 fourths and that's the size of drill bit that we're going to have to drill them headlight holes you always want to leave room for your glue you don't want to try to drill the hole too small and then you can't get much glue in it so we got a 15 60 fourths hole or drill bit we're going to um, just, you don't have to be right precise. Uh, let me see if I can move that bit up a little bit. All right. So you don't have to be real precise on, on where you put these headlights. You can just guess. Um, you could just take your pencil. And just say, well, I want a headlight there, and I want a headlight right here. So we're just going to drill in. And another thing I want to show you. These pegs, they're about, an, I don't know, almost an inch long right here. Um, what I do is just, you could cut the peg off if you want. I just lay it on the side of the block like this here. Just measure that right here. This is how far I got to have my drill bit to come down to drill that. So I just take and I'll bring my drill press bit down. I'll lock it into place. So now it's just going to drill down that far. Okay, so now if I put my peg in there, you can see I got, I can glue that in there and it's in there quite a ways. And I got room to put glue in. 
So let's head back over to the workbench and uh, continue on. All right, you're back at the bench. Now, one thing I didn't mention, um, when you lay out your uh, your block here for your wheels, I didn't really give you uh, any type of uh, measurement from edge to holes. Um, you could just lay your holes out on here, kind of the way you want them. And this, it, it, there's really no scientific way of doing it. Just lay your wheels out like that there and just mark them. I believe, let me just measure here. Um, this hole here is about, this hole here is one inch from the edge, and then the other hole is seven eighths inches from the edge. So it's, it's really up to you where you want to put the wheels. But once you make your template, that's the way it's going to be on every truck. So I would suggest make a template. Okay, so starting to look like a truck. If you can see that, it's starting to look like a truck. Got the wheelbase made, got the cab made. Now we're going to make this little back part for the truck. Um, and like I said, I used to cut little strips, glue them together in the little squares. Um, I'm going to try something different this time. We are going to um, cut them out like this here, and then all we got to do is set that cab on there. So let me get ready to do that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, here at the scroll saw, um, I got my pattern glued on my piece of wood right here. What we got to do is cut out this inside right here, cut straight across here, and then we're going to we'll end up with our little box in the back of the truck. So let's uh, cut that inside out first. I think this is going to work really good compared to the old way I used to do these. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. cab part that's going to turn out really nice oh, and I forgot to mention too I always put blue tape painters tape on my piece of wood first then I glue my pattern on it helps so when you go to take your pattern off um, it doesn't stick to the piece of wood see we're just going to take this pattern off everything's uh, nice and clean there's no residue from glue from putting the pattern on everything looks pretty good now um, this should sit right on the back of that uh, truck really nice. So let's head back over to the workbench. All right, here back at the bench. Starting to look like a truck. We got some sanding to do, but pretty much it's starting to look like a truck. So um, what I'm going to do is we're going to sand all these parts, soften up all the edges, put them on the sander, get everything all nice and smooth. Along with the box right here, we're going to maybe... You maybe could round these corners off just a little bit, get everything nice and smooth. That sits on, and then the wheelbase, just get that all nice and sanded. Any pencil marks, get all that off of there. Once we got all that sanded, then we are going to start gluing this together. So we'll be back 
As soon as I get all this sanded, we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I got all the parts uh, nice and sanded. Everything's all nice and smooth. Um, I used uh, 220 sandpaper, I believe it is. Um, doesn't say, I think it's 220 sandpaper. Just sand everything all up nice and smooth. Now we're just going to glue things together. Pretty easy to get everything all glued together. You want to glue all this together before you put the wheels on. So basically, um, you can just stick a little glue in these holes for the headlights. And then stick the axle pegs in for headlights. Turn them a little bit to get that glue around in there. So you got the headlights stuck in there. Now we're just going to put a little glue on this base right here. Stick that base on here. And then we're going to put the cab on. We're just going to stick a little glue around here. Put that cab on there. I like to leave this line, the cab pieces in the box should line right up with the edge. Uh, maybe, maybe leave a little bit of a bump around there, whatever if you want. Um, you can push this one back a little bit like this here. Leave a little bit of a front part on the bumper there. But pretty much everything is glued on there. You want to make sure that no glue is uh, squeezing out any place. So that looks pretty good. We're going to let that sit. When that's dry, we're going to come back. Because the wheels are the last thing we're going to put on. So when that's dry, we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. Truck's all glued up. Everything's all sanded nice and smooth. Looks pretty good. Next step, putting the wheels on. Um, like I said, I use uh, quarter inch dowels for the axles and like I said, you want to make sure these holes that you drill in the base here are big enough so your um, dowel has enough room to spin so your wheels turn real good. Um, and I use an inch and a quarter wheels for this truck. I buy them wheels on craftparts.com. Also, I get my dowels at craftparts.com. What's important is you buy your dowels at the same place you buy your wheels, and more than likely they're going to fit really nice. Um, so the next step would be to get some uh, axles cut to fit. Um, so you're going to have to put a wheel on one side of your axle here, and sometimes you might have to sand this dowel just a little bit just to, just to get that wheel to slide on a little bit better. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get them on. Once you get one wheel on one side of a piece of, let me see, these are already the size. Here's a piece of dowel right here. It's way long. Put a wheel on one side, stick it through your truck, and then you're going to take another wheel, and you're going to slide that on that dowel like that there. Now, this is obviously way too long, um, but you're going to slide it on there, and you know that turns really nice. You don't want to have too much play in there. Then you're just going to take a pencil. And I thought I had a pencil here. Okay. You're just going to take a pencil. And you're going to mark on the edge of this wheel right here. On the, right on the uh, dowel. And that's where you're going to cut that dowel off. So you're going to take that dowel right here and you're going to take both wheels off and you're going to cut that I don't know if you can see that but you can cut that dowel right there and this will be your axle for the truck now you may have to do this a couple times to get the axle to fit just the way you want so I already did that I got two axles here to, to fit and slide this in here and then you're going to slide a wheel on here now let's slide this wheel on here see I got you can slide that wheel on there, and you can see there's really not that much uh, sticking through. 
and the wheels turn really nice on here. So all you're going to do is just put some glue on them uh, inside the holes of the wheels and slide them on there and let them dry. You can do the same thing for this other side here. Put the wheel on here. Slide that through. And then pop the other wheel on. And it should be, you don't want to have these too tight. You want to, you want to have a little bit of a, a play in this axle, but you don't want too much. So that's basically um, how you do the axles and the wheels on these uh, trucks. Um, so pretty much this truck is done other than just gluing that. I'll, I'll glue that off camera, but that's pretty much how you do the wheels and the axles. And if you make a lot of these trucks, um, I usually cut these axles on a bandsaw. I will set up the measurement on my bandsaw, and then I'll just go through and cut all the same size axles for this truck. Um, so that's what you have to do for the wheels. So let's just recap a little bit on this video. Um, first thing, this uh, wheelbase, you want to make sure that we're using three-quarter inch pine, and you want to make sure you build yourself a template. It works really good if you've got a template because everything's on here. The size of the holes, the thickness, width, and length of the block. Um, so you want to build a template, and you want to make sure that the holes that you drill in here are big enough so your axles spin if you decide to use uh, quarter inch axles. So that would be the main thing for the block here. As far as the cab, remember I said the cab had that little little uh, shape for the cab right there. Um, it's, I don't have a PDF plan for this. It's just all out of my head when I made this uh, toy truck. But as far as the, the shape of this cab right here, um, when, once you cut your block of wood for the cab, you can just take... And, and I measured my cab, you go over about an inch and a quarter and make a mark. Go over about an inch and a quarter from the end. Right here, hopefully you can see that. But you go over an inch and a quarter from the end. Then you come up from the bottom right here, come up uh, half of an inch, I think it's half an inch. Um, up three... You come up, you come up from the bottom three quarters of an inch. So let's just measure up from the bottom three quarters of an inch and make another mark. Okay, so right here, over inch and a quarter up from the bottom three quarters of an inch. Now you're basically going to draw a little bit of a uh, a windshield right here, and then you're going to come down right here. It's really not hard to do. Once you get this shape, and then you got to put your hole for your window right here. So it's basically, once you get this shape, do it on a piece of uh, thin piece of wood that you can use for a template. Cut it out every time you make this truck. All you have to do is uh, lay this on the block of wood like this and just trace it out. That's all you got to do. And it'll be as easy as that. So that will take care of that. Um, as far as the bed, the bed of the truck back here, um, I made me a template for the bed. Uh, all I got to do is take, and that's made out of three-quarter inch thick wood. All I got to do is lay that on a piece of three-quarter inch thick wood, inch and a half wide. All I got to do is draw a line there, draw my inside. Now I got my cab. You can just cut this part out, and a little crooked here, but you can just cut that out, and you got a cab, and that should fit. That should fit right on the back of your, your truck. You got, you're going to have to sand it maybe a little bit, round the corners, sand everything all up, but it should fit on your truck really nice like this. Um, so that's basically it, really. Um, it's a real easy uh, project to make. Uh, it doesn't take long to make at all. Um, like I said, and I've repeated this a million times already, 
make template blocks. I put them all in Ziploc bags, all my parts, things like that. So every time I want to make this truck, all I got to do is grab this bag, and it's got all my templates in it, and I don't have to worry about um, measuring every time I lay out my wheels and drawing this and drawing that. So that will work out really good if you do it that way. Make sure if you're going to paint these trucks, I would paint them before you glue them together. It makes it a lot easier to paint these trucks before you glue it together. And after you paint them, paint dries, you can glue it together. Um, pretty much it then. Um, if you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave any comments at the, uh, below if you have any questions. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do have more videos that I'm working on. Um, so we'll see you on the next video.